Well, what was I mean? Obviously, barely legal first ECW pay per view, Philly ECW arena. Like, what was what was the atmosphere that night in the arena for like you guys and just kind of yeah. being this such a big moment for ECW in general? It was really good. Uh, it was it was awesome. You know, the crowd was hot like uh, they always were, but you know they were stoked to be doing a pay per view. They were stoked with the uh, angle, the real life angle that I was involved in because that crowd was um, the smart marks that would be on the pulse of everything that's happening and get all the dirt sheet reports and however they got them. And, and then um, that's what made them uh, so different and such a different crowd to entertain as well because they weren't as simple. They were a little bit more advanced perspectively from almost every perspective. And, uh, and so because of that, um, they were super stoked and uh, they all thought for sure that I was going to be leaving because that's what everybody does. Right. Right. And the, the, to your point, they were like chanting sellout. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Times too. <laughs> yeah. So that was, that was awesome. You know, trying to get heat like, like I was, trying to, you know, and getting that response was, was really cool. All of a sudden I felt a, a lot more comfortable that um, I could speak my mind, you know what I mean? And, and become more myself. And, and, and that was just, it was a really good feeling because uh, like I said before, I didn't even want to, not that long before that, I didn't even want to do a promo. I didn't want to talk on the mic. I, you know, I just wanted to wrestle uh, because I couldn't talk. I didn't, I didn't know how. And then, um, you know, after that night, I was kind of finding my my place on the mic for sure, where um, I didn't have to fake it because I had something to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and to, like, I was going to mention that, too. It's like you were saying, like, how you weren't feeling like early on, you weren't confident in doing the, the promo. But like this promo that you cut, like at the end of this, after the match was said, and done, I was like, damn, this is like good RVD, like stuff right here going on. Like the, the kind of yeah. attitude, like to your point. How you said, like, you know, uh, how W you wanted you to get angry and show anger and stuff like that. This exemplifies that you didn't need to show that kind of stuff. It's, okay, I'm already hooked on, you know, I want to see RVD wrestle more because of the attitude he already has, you know? So, I, I, yeah, and so at this point in time, I think you're really feeling it. <laughs> so, yeah. No doubt about yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, probably before I went out there, I, I, I had uh, – yeah, definitely. You know, I already knew that we were planning on doing the thing with WWE and Raw. And so having all that in my mind also gave me a lot of confidence because I was out there like, you know, hey, you can believe it or not, but y'all are going to be watching this right here. Like, <laughs> I can't even tell you guys how how damn how Mr. Monday Night I am. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a shoot, you know, it was a shoot. Like, they all thought I was going to go to WCW. And nobody had a clue. Well, but, that's what you said, too, is like, I be, you're like, I didn't do it for certain things. You're like, I did it for money, and I did it because I know that I'm going to make more money somewhere else than here. <laughs> and so it was, that was a way to do it. Like, if you want to get... Fun. Yeah, it's a fun way to do business. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like a, it didn't take like story writers. Uh, I mean, it was just I don't know. It's just the best stuff is always more organic, you know. And uh, with ECW, it was always go with the truth, you know. 